welcome to Integrated Budget Finance System Learning Session. IBFS application is a web-based application that will be used for budget planning throughout the divisions. In order to get started, we will make use of Internet Explorer. First open up Internet Explorer, type in the address bar, http colon slash slash mindafinance and press enter to proceed. You will then be redirected to the IBFS login platform. To start using the IBFS system enter your credentials. Enter your given username. Next enter the password for your account. Next click sign in. You now then be redirected to a dashboard, at the bottom part you will see three buttons. Budget management, budget approvals and sign out button. To start, press the budget management button and wait for the next page. When the page has loaded you will see a grid form containing the following. Fiscal year, program, project, output and activities. To add a new record, click add new and a new row, will be generated on the grid. Fiscal year, program, project, output, activities and user will have a blank data. Along with the months from January to December where all budget planned expenditure will be displayed. To start data entry, all you need to do is click on each cell to be updated. For instance we click on fiscal year. And then input in the data needed. Do the same for programs. projects outputs and activities. After all data has been encoded, then data entry for these program is complete. To assign a member to encode additional activities, then all you need to do is to set up the user field by double clicking the cell. A new form will show you containing all members within the division. Double click the selected member to proceed. If you want to add another output for this project, all you need to do is to double click the cell on the last added output. The program and project will then be copied to a new row containing the same data. And proceed to encoding the new output for this project. As a sample, we will encode the new output data, activities, and assign a member, to which this member will be the one, who will encode data for the activity plan. After all data entry for programs, projects, outputs, and activities. Then it is now ready for the actual entry for activity design that will be in the next session. Thank you.
Welcome back to our learning session on IBFS. Today we will be discussing on how to do a data entry to an assigned division staff, and encode data on the activity design, per program. We will also learn some functionalities such as, to where we can see our data entries and know our balances. Along with this coverage will be the discussion on how to submit our activity entries for approval to our division head. Again on the IBFS login screen. Enter your username, password, and click the sign in button. After your credentials has been validated, you will now see the division staff's functionality as you can see it has a fewer buttons than the division chief's functionality. The division staff's functionality is limited only for the following, 1. Activity entry. 2. Submission of activity data for approval. 3. Generation of PPMP report. To proceed, we now have to click the budget management button. And we will now be directed to the next page where we can see the data being encoded by the division chief. For readability of data being encoded, we can hover the mouse over the cell. And we'll show the full description on the cell. In order to add entry of expenditures all we have to do is click on the cell. Where in the months we will encode into. We will now have a sample entry on the month of January. Click the double click the cell on January. You will now notice that another form has been shown. This form will list all the expenditures being loaded in the system available for use in creating our activity. For this sample data, we will select local travel. Now it is important that we need to choose which fund source we will charge this expenditure. Below click on the drop box and we will select our fund source. After that click OK to proceed. A new form will be shown, this is the travel expenditure form. Fill in the necessary data such as remarks, accommodation type, Destination Start Date End Date Number of Staff And Number of Days the computation will be automatic based on their designated rates. As you can see on the top right side of the form, is a grid which contains the current NEP allocation for this expenditure and lists a running balance to monitor your expenses, once the data is saved it will automatically update the running balance. If the running balance is insufficient, you will no longer be able to add any expenses, within this expenditure. To proceed, click on the Save button, the list from the running balance will now be updated showing us the current remaining balance. The bottom grid will also be updated with the data we encoded. To close this form you may click the Cancel. As soon as the form is closed, we will be on the main budget management form. As you can see our data has been populated with the new encoded data. To see the details of this encoded data, just click on the amount and you will see at the bottom part of the form, the details pertaining to this amount. Next topic on this learning session is on how to add additional activity pertaining to the output of a project. This is done by selecting the project slash output. When you have already selected all you need to do is to double click on the activity cell. 
Immediately it will replicate the row with the same program, project, output and with an empty activity. To edit the activity, just click on the cell and enter the data. Press enter when done. Then it will be updated based on the data entry. Now let us try adding up another. We double click again the selected activity cell to replicate the program, project and output. Next we click on the activity cell on the new added row. Now we encode the new activity for this project. As soon as you are done with encoding all of your activities, you can now start data entry for expenditures. Another feature that I will introduce is the My Activities section. This is a menu located on the top left of the budget management. This functionality provides us a detailed preview of the data we encoded, along with the total allocation for all expenditures and the remaining balance. The My Activity page is also where we will submit our data to our division chief for review. In preparation for approval to finance division, to submit this expenditure for review, all you need to do is click on the submit checkbox located at the details of the expenditure item. Once it is submitted, it will then be available to the division chief's approval lists. This concludes our sample data entry for submission to division chief. Our next learning session will be about approval of expenditure for the division chief. Thank you. Welcome back to our learning session on IBFS. What we will be on discussion right now, is on how to approve the submitted expenditure by a division staff. The division chief has access to the approvals of expenditure. We start by logging in our credentials on the IBFS login screen. and click sign in. As soon as you enter the dashboard, you will now click on budget approval button. Next at the top left part of the form, a menu with the name approval menu. Click on the approval menu and a drop menu will be available for selecting. Under approval menu is review lists which contains the expenditures submitted by the division staff. Another one is PPMP lists, this is also an approval for PPMP data which we will discuss later on. For now, click on review lists. You now be then redirected to another page which displays all the expenditures encoded. Now I will show you how to approve an expenditure item. One. Click on the figure on the right side with columns. For this example I will select this data. As soon as it is being selected, a data will fill in below containing information of the expenditure, at the further right part is two checkbox. One, is approve. And two, is disapprove. Once you click the approve checkbox then it confirms that the expenditure select is approved and is ready for checking in the finance department. This concludes the process on how to approve submitted expenditure items by a division staff. Thank you. Welcome back to our learning session on IBFS. 
We are going to learn today on how we generate PPMP report. After all the validations and approvals, from the division chief, to the finance division. Then we can now produce the PPMP report. We start by logging in our credentials on the IBFS login screen. and click sign in. As soon as you enter the dashboard, click on budget management button. After that find the menu generate PPMP. and click it. Wait until you are redirected to the PPMP page generation report. After the page is loaded, you will see, select year, realign PPMP, submit PPMP and print preview. To start, select the year, where we have encoded our activity, it will then load the data on the grid. The data will contain the following. On the first column will be, fund source, and below on it, will be the UX code for the object of expenditure, next is the description, followed by quantity, estimated budget, and mode of procurement. On the next fields will be the months from January to December, the X mark on the grid represents that there is a schedule of activity within that month. The division staff will set the mode of procurement by double-clicking the cell of mode of procurement on the row. A new form will appear, which contains lists of mode of procurement, which is maintained by the assigned person on procurement. To select the mode of procurement, all you need to do is double-click on the selected item and the report will be updated. The print preview functions as a way to preview the PPMP before printing. To access print preview, click on the button print preview, wait until IBFS report manager will show. For security reason you need to key in your password. And press OK to proceed. Next click on select report drop down, and choose PPMP printout. followed by the year, and then click load report. Please wait while the records are being fetch. This report has a printout functionality, all you need to do is, click on the printer icon which is shown on this screen and print like any normal document. For now, close the report manager and we will submit the data to the division chief for review. To submit the PPMP, all you need to do is click on the Submit button. It will then reflect to the Division Chief's account for review. This concludes our learning session on generating and submitting of PPMP report. Thank you.